Dan Kriegish and he's going to explain how clean air works in real life and how clean air plays around with interference. Wolfgang. Hi, thanks for introducing me. So what I would like to show you today is our, our, our brief uh, clean air setup. So let me first explain uh, how the setup is done. It just consists of a clean air access point over here and there's a little bit of infrastructure switch ports. And what we have here is a wireless client running a, a real-time video trans, transported over IP multicast over the wireless. And there is some management stuff and a screen where you can see the interferences and the overall spectrum. So, and, and now what I would like to demo you and to show you is the effectiveness of our clean air technology. And what you, what you see here, so this is the bad guy which comes in play uh, right in a couple of seconds. And this is an analog video camera which will interfere the spectrum and, and the, will grab a lot of performance between the access point and the wireless client. Okay, I got now the camera connected. So, okay, the camera is active and the camera is configured to emit uh, signals in a certain uh, channel. And as you can see here, so we can clearly see here how the video camera affects the channel and the communication between the access point and the wireless client. And as you can see here as well, the video already stopped because the video camera grabs all of the available bandwidth of that certain channel in the Wi-Fi spectrum. So uh, we have an, another picture here. If we can go back to the management screen, I just switch over. And the WCS, which is the wireless control system for, for managing the Cisco wireless gear, and clearly shows that there is an infection and there is an interferer available and it also identifies the kind of interferer. In, in our case, it's a video camera and it also applies a, a date and a timestamp, which makes it much, much more easier for the IT support personnel to get the source of the interference identified and to remove the source. Okay, now let's go back to our spectrum screen. And as you can see here, the video camera is still active and the video is still scarfed. There's no movement at all. So, and what clean air does? So once a clean air access point detects, um, for example, such a kind of interference, it will take a certain amount of time, which is in, in a, some seconds time frame, and then the clean air access point will automatically change from the affected channel to another free channel. And this is, a, this is what, what we call in Cisco event-driven radio resource management. So the event is the little tiny camera and this, this event drives the action for the access point to switch over once it has detected some interference. And as you can see now, so access point already switched over to a free channel. The video is still running again. And you can see there is the video transmission on a different channel even while the analog camera is still active and interfering those, this channel. So and that's the most important feature of Cisco Clean Air, which saves customers a lot of time and a lot of money once they got interference in their Wi-Fi environment. Great, Wolfgang, thank you very much. Um, just tell us how customers here at Cisco Live today have been reacting to, the, to your product that, that, that you've been demoing. Well, we had yesterday duty of about 12 hours on our little demo booth for Clean Air, and we had a huge amount of customers over there, and most of them are already aware of Cisco Clean Air, but uh, less of them are really aware of how it works and how companies and customers can really save money and time in solving problems and, and troubles in the Wi-Fi uh, environment. Excellent, thank yes. you very much. Thank Welcome. you all guys. Welcome. Thanks.